Good afternoon, I'm Michael Harvey, Head of Senior School here at Hazel Glen. We are fast approaching an important part of the year with the Year 10 exams running from Tuesday the 12th till Monday the 18th of June. There will be two sessions of exams each day, one from 9 till 10.40am and the second from 11.15 till 12.55. The first session will be the core subjects, which all students need to attend. The second session is elective subjects, which students will only need to attend when their elective exam is on. At other times, students are not expected to remain at school, but should use the time to study at home to prepare for their next exam. We are offering that if students wish to study at school, we will be providing rooms 101 and 102 as a space where they can do individual study or organise a study group with their friends to revise and prepare for exams. As parents, you play an important role over the next couple of weeks and during the exam period. You need to provide a quiet space at home where your child can revise their work. You can and are encouraged to be a part of the revision process, asking students, testing their knowledge and so on. Often verbalising responses can help to retain information in the brain. Ensuring your child is getting adequate sleep prior to exams and providing a good breakfast are important. Encouraging and a reduction in the use of social media during study times and late at night will be beneficial in ensuring they get a good quality sleep and are free from distractions. Teachers will inform students of what they are required to do in the exams, but electronic devices such as mobile phones and iPads will not be allowed in exams. Please ensure your child comes with spare pens, pencils, etc. in case their pen runs out. One final reminder is that the full winter uniform is required to be worn in exams. Sports un uniform should not be worn. Please ensure your child is correctly dressed before coming to school. Having the right mindset leading up to and during exams is important to students achieving the best results. I have asked Ms Glowacki, our wellbeing leader for senior school, to talk about some strategies students can use in the lead up and during exams. I wish students all the best in their exams. Exam time can be a stressful experience for many young people. There are a number of things that contribute to the exam stress, such as feeling unprepared or unorganised, a fear of failure or competition from peers. Stress is not always a bad thing. It can help motivate us to get things done and perform at our best. But too much stress can also be harmful if we become overwhelmed to the point that it interferes with our normal life. There are some common signs that you can look out for that might indicate that your child is feeling stressed or overwhelmed. You might notice that they are experiencing changes to their sleep or eating habits. They are having difficulties concentrating. They seem irritable, frustrated or moody more than usual, or they begin to isolate themselves from others. You can help them by pointing out any changes you notice when they are feeling stressed so they can implement strategies to deal with this directly. Some helpful stress management tips include making sure your child establishes a good sleep routine and develops healthy eating habits. Pulling all nighters, surviving on a poor diet or relying on caffeinated drinks can increase the symptoms of anxiety. Regular exercise is also important to help increase focus and reduce tension. Ensure your child takes time to schedule in activities that they find calming or enjoyable, such as listening to music, walking or dancing. Encourage them to practice relaxation and deep breathing techniques. This will help their body and their nervous system to calm down during the exam. Notice any negative self-talk, such as I can't do this or I'm not good enough, and support them to develop more balanced thoughts, such as I'm just gonna try and focus on doing my best. While the exam period is an intense time for all, it's important to keep things in perspective. Have realistic expectations about what is achievable and let your child know that you'll be there for them no matter what the outcome. If you are really concerned that your child isn't coping well, seek support from a GP, counsellor or student wellbeing leader. If you would like more information, please contact Parentline, Headspace or visit reachout.com.